Good morning, Zio here, and we are in the eighth cause of action, and I am out of coffee. F in the chat. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we have made our ways to the eighth cause of action here of um, this DFEH lawsuit versus uh, Blizzard or Activision, Blizzard, Activision, and Activision Publishing. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a long read. It's been quite a bit here, and uh, we're getting near the end of it right now. And, of course, other videos might have come out by this point <laughs> as other things have developed. So, um, yeah, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it, shall we? Also, I stream every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time uh, over on Facebook, so go follow a link somewhere and come join me there. Go follow the page, like the page, all that good stuff, and come join me when we do stream some kind of game. Um, but yeah, there's also a, a letter that uh, Blizzard released, and it is now multiple days old since this video is so much further away from that because <laughs> I only have time to really do one a day and that sort of thing. But... Uh, so I do apologize. You know, this isn't my main thing. This is sort of a hobby. But uh, yeah, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, I'm not providing any kind of lawyer advices or anything like this. I'm just a gamer who likes to look at game news and talk about it and give my honest opinions as things go. But we are at the eighth cause of action, which is failure to prevent discrimination and harassment um, on behalf of the DFEH. So, uh, but yeah, it incorporates any uh, real... The rigorous all pre the previous allegations as set forth herein. Government Code Section 12940 Subdivision K requires employers to take all reasonable steps necessary to prevent discrimination and sexual harassment from occurring. Defendants violating uh, Government Code Section 12940 Subdivision K by failing to take responsibility, uh, reasonable steps necessary to prevent demonstration discrimination and harassment of employees defendants failure to have and or enforce adequate and uh, consequently anti-discrimination policies were uh, substantially motivated factors in causing harm to the group defendants failed to have any effective sexual harassment policy failed to adequately train all supervisors managers and execs on the prevention on um, of discrimination and harassment based on sex and or failed to timely discipline or stop discrimination, discriminatory or harassment behavior from occurring in the workplace. Now, um, not having training or training and stuff, I think might be uh, uh, not true. <laughs> I mean, most places have training on stuff like this and force everybody to sit through it. So especially when there's an incident, I'm sure they're all doing it right now. I'm sure they're all doing it right now. Yeah, they, they probably aren't. What am I talking about? Anyway, uh, defendants' actions were willfully, maliciously fraudulent uh, and oppressive and were committed with wrongful intent to injure employees or persons. And con uh, okay, we this is all re redone. Okay, we, we've read all that before multiple times at this point. The ninth cause of action, unequal pay. This one, anyway, uh, Labor Code 1197.5 Subdivision A1 states that an employer shall not pay any of its employees at a wage rate less than the rates paid to the employees of their opposite sex for so, uh, substantially similar work when viewed as a uh, composite of skills, effort, and responsibility and performed under similar working conditions. Uh, defendant female employees receive less total compensation than their male counterparts while performing a substantially similar work as each other, considering uh, their combination of skill, effort, and responsibility, as well as their similarly working conditions. And uh, again, we need to see data on this. We need actual some hard numbers to figure out exactly what has happened here to see if that's even true. Um, we've talked about this before, especially if we're going to do the whole 77 cents on a dollar kind of 
argument or whatnot that has been debunked over and over and over and over and over again. And, you know, when I, when people have, you know, seen that females getting paid more than them and all this other stuff. And I think there was an article somewhere that said that women are currently thriving in tech to the point that they're actually out competing or outdoing their male counterparts. But at the same time, we also have to keep in mind this one thing we're talking about activision blizzard who routinely pays under the industry standard to everyone not just females but males too so um yeah that also plays in a it plays into this as well um but yeah defendant male employees uh receive uh less base pay than their male counterparts okay well i think we read that defend female employees receive less incentive pay on uh so let's say equity or yeah equal it yeah anyway and uh on behalf uh compared to their male counterparts while performing substantially similar work as each other uh considering their combination of skills efforts and responsibility as well as their similar working conditions and then there's other things that doesn't factor in like uh you know negotiations and stuff and their actual experience in that particular thing as well which does play a part into what you get paid as a result of defendant's uh, conduct, female employees uh, suffered and continue to suffer lost earnings. All right. And that's just a repeat of what we already... The 10th cause of action. There are 10 causes of actions. We are almost at the bottom of this, this document. We got four more pages at this. All right. The 10th cause of action. Waiver of right forms and procedures and uh, release of claims. Okay, uh, section 432.6, the labor code states that, or states, inter a law that a person shall not, as uh, conditions of employment, continued employment, or the receipt of, uh, receipt of any employment related benefits require any applicant for, um, uh, for employment or any employee to waive any rights uh, forms or procedures for a violation of any provisions of the California Fair Employment and Housing Act or this code, including the right to file or pursue a civil action or a uh, complaint with or otherwise note any state agencies, other public uh, prosecutors or law enforcement agencies or any court of or other uh, government entities of any alleged a violation based on information and belief DFA. H alleged that the defendants required female employees to waive rights, forms, and procedures as conditions of employment, continued employment, or the receipt of any employment-related benefits, including but not limited to adjustment pay and severance pay and violations of labor. Okay, now this is a thing to look at, too. Um, I, yeah. Sure hope they didn't have any male people do that either. Uh, no, seriously, this is purely on the female side, so if there's a, also maybe a possible lawsuit from males, that would be an interesting thing, but I, I, there, there's no way, no way that a company only forced women to, to sign something like this, to, uh, that seems like that would be a major, major issue right there, uh, but yeah, this is definitely a thing to, uh, to look at if anyone ever tries to get you to waive your rights i would find out what your laws are first before doing that um it's it's nice to know that in california it, it prevents companies from actually doing that uh but yeah prohibits an employer in an exchange for a raise or bonus or any conditions uh to require employees to sign a release of a claim or rights under this part Okay, that is an interesting thing to look at. That um, definitely would be something to look at. See how many people have had to sign, you know, forms to uh, essentially say, yeah, we won't, we won't say anything. I don't know. I think a lot of companies do this. Uh, you know, it, it feels like you know it's one of those you won't sue us kind of things. But I wonder how legally binding some of this stuff is, uh, especially finding out that California apparently has a law saying you can't do that sort of thing. <laughs> anyway uh power to the worker yes um players prayers for uh relief where uh dfeh prays to this court that's standard court stuff right uh defendants ordering compensation or prudent damages uh unpaid wages liquidated damages and other remedies and penalties 
available under the Equal Pay Act, uh, injunction relief, uh, declaratory relief, um, equal, uh, equal relief, uh, including but not limited to the reinstatement and or front pay, pay adjustments, pay back, lost wages, and benefits including base pay, uh, incentive pay and uh, benefits and award and amount to be proven in trial, pro judgment, interest as uh, required by law, attorney's fees and cost to the defendants of uh, fair employment and housing and other reliefs uh, to the court deemed just and proper. Um, and that's just the uh, prayer of relief, of course, you know, what they're seeking. And this is going to be just, you know, other things demand for jury trial. Um, I wonder if they're going for the jury trial just because the, the evidence might be weaker than it sounds. Uh, yeah, as much as I'm rooting for him, don't don't get me wrong, I'm rooting for him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that might be a problem. So what 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 exactly has Blizzard said? Um, this is apparently um, the release uh, full statement from uh, Activision Blizzard. So we're going to go ahead and get into that thing real quick. But uh, we value the diversity and strife to uh, foster a workplace that offers inclusivity for everyone. There is no uh, place in our company or industry or any industries for sexual misconduct or harassment of any kind. Yeah, well, Alex would say otherwise. Um, we take every alleged seriously and investigate all claims in case related to misconduct actions was taken to address the issues. The DFEH um, includes distorted and in many cases false descriptions of Blizzard's past uh, we have been extremely cooperative with the DFEH throughout their investigation, including providing them with extensive data and ample documentation, but they refused to inform us what the issues they perceived. Uh, they were required by law to adequately investigate and to have good faith uh, discussions with us to better understand and resolve any claims or concerns before going to litigation, but they failed to do so. Instead, they rushed uh, to file an inadequate complaint as well. As we will uh, demonstrate in court, we are sickened by the reprehensible <laughs> conduct of the DFEH to drag into complaint the tragic suicide of an employee who, um, who's, I'm sorry, I said the word self deletion. Um, Passing has no bearing whatsoever on this case, and with no regards for uh, her grieving family, while we find this behavior to be uh, disrespectful and unprofessional, it is unfortunately an example of how they have uh, conducted themselves throughout the course of this investigation. It is the type of irresponsible behavior from unacceptable state um, bureaucrats that are driving money or many of the state's best businesses out of California. The picture of the DHS paints is not the blizzard workplace of today over the past several years and um, continuing since the uh, initial investigation started, we've made significant changes to address company culture and reflect more diversely within our leadership teams. We update our code of conduct to emphasize a strict non-retaliation uh, Focus amplified uh, internal programs and channel for employees to report violations, including the ask list, uh, where a confidential entry, entry hotline and introduce an employee relations team uh, dedicated to the investigation of employee concerns. We have strengthened our community to diversity, equal, and inclusion and combined our employees network at a global level uh, to provide additional support. Employees must also undergo regularly uh, regular anti-harassment training and have done so for years, which of course is I did say they, they do do that, right? <laughs> Even if I was like, they, they're doing that, right? Um, but anyway, we put tremendous effort in creating unfair, or I'm uh, sorry, creating fair and rewarding compensation packages, packages and policies that reflect our culture and business. And we strive to pay all employees fairly for equally and subsequently similar work. Uh, we take a variety of uh, 
proactive uh, steps to ensure that the pay is driven by non-discriminatory factors. For example, we reward compensation employees based on their performance, and we conduct an extensive anti-discrimination training, including for those who are part of the comp uh, comp competition process. <laughs> Uh, we are confident in our ability to discriminate our practices or as an equal opportunity employer that foster a supportive, diverse, and inclusive workplace, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, yeah, that's where we stand. That's that's where we stand right now. And uh, as, um, you know, I, I was saying a lot of this stuff sounds, it sounds out there. I mean, cube crawls, really? And, uh, you know, the whole state of the self-deletion thing um you know not having any bearing on this uh, it, it, unfortunately it's like all the other things that are in this uh some of these things do have some bearing i feel uh definitely need to look into other things or more of you know it's just i feel i feel that this is the case or or something like that um gosh what is it we're, we're this we'll go all the way up here um but yeah uh i think this one here this was just you know a tragic example of how you know the harassment and things led to self-deletion of a certain employee as you know as much as you don't really want to bring it up unless it's absolutely necessary it does feel a little underhanded but of course what this alex guy of course has been doing if that is anywhere near true uh to what he has done then uh yeah, and in fact, maybe, maybe, you know, his, him leaving might have been due to that sort of thing. Maybe there wasn't just a slap on the wrist like this thing says it is. And they were like, look, here's the deal. You can either leave gracefully or we will, we will do things, right? And he left gracefully with his name intact. Although if that's the kind of stuff that he is doing, um, yeah, I don't think his name should be intact. That should probably be knowledge for everybody to know right um that's that's bad uh however this sort of thing right here this sounds completely ridiculous i do not i i'm sorry i don't believe it until i can see a video of it there is no way that ever actually happened that sounds way 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 out there um you know, but as for harassment as well the definition of harassment is different when you can ask somebody out on a date and declare it as sexual harassment um i don't see that as sexual harassment however groping somebody touching them unwantedly and stuff like that that definitely is a violation of somebody's uh you know personal space and things and should definitely be dealt with of course and i need to go look at this and then there's a lot of the gender pay stuff which there's a lot of things that factor into that as i've been saying throughout this entire thing i just i don't know how true that actually is because you know, on one hand, Blizzard regularly pays people under the minimum standard, you know, under the industry standard. That is a well-known fact. We've known about it for years. They've openly said, yeah, we do that. And, and this idea of all the men in the office are just sitting around playing games so the women's don't and they actually do their work also seems a bit more far-fetched as well. Uh, and I need to look into this. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below and uh, we'll see how this plays out. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.